Hey everybody, we're here to go ahead and uh, disassemble this Galaxy S6 Edge. This is the gold sprint version. You see, it's definitely got some shattering going on here on the side. So we're going to go ahead and uh, use this as a disassembly. We're going to use a few tools here, a small Phillips screwdriver, a nylon spudger. We'll need a couple playing cards and possibly a tile suction cup. And of course, a SIM card eject tool. We will be eventually replacing the screen on this. So we'll be using a heat gun as well. So we're going to go ahead and use our SIM eject tool to pop open the SIM card slot and go ahead and remove that. We're going to go ahead and heat up the back of this phone with our heat gun. Work our way around. Now, it is important to get the edges, but you do want to get all the way through the entire back of the device. There is double-sided adhesive down the center as well. I uh, guess not necessarily down exactly the center, but uh, pretty close towards the middle where the Samsung logo is. So we're just going to heat it up in a circle. Get it nice and warm. Now one of the easiest ways I find to remove this is to use uh, the tile suction cup. Uh, the suction cup that I have will help you go ahead and get a starting point to slip that playing card underneath the back of the device. Get it nice and warm. We want it to be nice and warm to the touch. We don't want it to burn you, but we want it to be pretty close to get uh, started on this. It's going to be a little bit tricky depending upon the device. I've done one that uh, was really, really, really hard to remove. And I've done a few that... Uh, didn't seem like they were extremely stuck on there well. I'm going to go ahead and put our suction cup on. Go ahead and pull it back. It is nice and warm. You see it's starting to separate. Go ahead and slide our card in. Pull the suction cup off. Go ahead and work our way around. Get stuck, you can use a suction cup to help you as well. This starting point on this one was a little bit easier than the, the majority that I've done. Right here, you can see that it's starting to get tough. So, what I'll use is the playing card, try to use it almost as a saw, help us cut through the tape a little bit. We could a guitar pick down here on the back, help us go ahead and separate this a little bit. Now, you don't want to pull this back too far. As you can shatter the glass. I'm using a tar pick here will get us a little bit more force down the side. The tape up here at the top is a lot, lot stickier than what's at the bottom on this particular device. Use another guitar pick and go down the opposite side. We're starting to make progress. It's a card to get a little bit deeper in. Now you want to be careful right about where I'm at. There's a charge mat on the bottom of the device. You want to make sure that if you're using your playing card, you just peek, sneak a peek in there and make sure. It looks like I turned it on as well. You want to make sure that we're on top of that. We don't want to go underneath it. We could damage the charge, the wireless charging to the phone. Now that we've got it pretty far, we're going to go ahead and start to use our card again. Go around the camera, just being careful of the camera itself as well as the flash. Go ahead and pull it away now. So you can see that it's got taped down the sides towards the middle and the bottom of the phone. Where the charge mat is at, the camera and the flash does not have any adhesive on top of it. Now go ahead and use our Phillips screwdriver to go ahead and remove the screws off the back of the device. Now these two that I'm removing right here, these charge port screws, these are always left out uh, in a lot of these repair videos or people trying to repair this device. Um, this can cause some damage. You want to make sure that you remove these. Usually they're under adhesive. Uh, it's kind of gray and it almost looks like the device itself. So you want to make sure that you uncover all the adhesive off the back of it. Make sure you get all of these screws removed. As what we're going to try to do next is pop the housing with the display assembly, the logic board, the battery, all attached still. 
So just working your way around the device. A lot of these screws don't want to come out. Uh, this is one of the things with the metal housing is a little bit tricky to get the screws out. Now these ones down here, you want to make sure that you get those out. This little piece of adhesive here is what kind of covers it up and uh, is missed. I missed it on my first one that I did and uh, I didn't damage it, but it was definitely not as fun to try to remove. Double check all these screws. I'm going to use a playing card to pull up this charge mat. I'm going to make sure that it's not still adhered to the battery on the opposite side. Pop a screw out so we go ahead and set that aside as well. Now one thing that I would suggest is try to remove all the screws out of the device. There's so many on the back of this thing that it can be hard to miss one or maybe you didn't unscrew one all the way. So use a pair of tweezers, try to pull them out. Uh, use your spudger and pull them out. Something to help you get these screws out of the back of this phone. Maybe a little bit tedious, but it does save time if you drop one or one gets, goes missing. You won't have to go searching for it. They are stuck in there pretty good. You can see that we got this phone starting to separate, so actually we're just going to go ahead and pull it out here real fast. Just pressing on the back of the device here, so we can't get the battery to pop out. So it's going to come out one assembly piece. So this plastic housing, the metal, sorry, the metal housing on the back here is going to pull away. And I can tell already that I missed a screw here, right next to the camera. I thought that I unscrewed this one, but apparently just not enough. This is where pulling all the screws out the tweezers will be very helpful to you. Now if that's done, the back's going to pop right off for us. So it should pop off pretty easy. If you're struggling, that means you probably didn't undo a screw or undo them all the way. So now we can see that we have our logic board. We have the battery in the back. We're going to go ahead and start undoing the connectors here. Let's work our way around the front-facing camera. Go ahead and set that aside. Popped right out earpiece speaker, the battery, see if that'll let us pull up this logic board here, undo these cable connectors on top of the board and the one below with two little wire connectors here just pop off like a pair of button on a jeans you see here's our ribbon cable on the back side of the board it's going to go ahead and pop that right off as well additional connector for the home button with all of those done we can go ahead and get that set aside now if you're looking to replace your camera see it's the same kind of connector just pops off then you can pull your camera out just pushing it through Next step is to go ahead and remove the charge port out of here. There are two screws that are holding this in. Now the one nice thing about the Edge versus the regular S6 is this does not have a button that wraps around underneath the LCD. So if you damage your charge port, you can come in and just replace this one board here. Whereas on the S6, you actually have to take the LCD or the display out of the phone to replace the charge port, which is a pain. So this is a pretty nice addition to the S6 Edge. It's almost worth buying this over the regular S6 just for its repairability in this area, which is kind of cool. Go ahead and set that aside. So that charge port is also the home button, back end uh, menu button as well, or application button. We're going to go ahead and pull the rest of the components out of this phone as if we're going to do a housing switch, we'll try to take the display off this thing as well. So taking out the vibration module, using our nylon switch, there's a little hole right here you can stick it in, it'll pop right out for you. Get the earpiece speaker out of here. 
It does have a cable underneath this fabric EMI tape here. I'm going to work that back. Use our dental pick to help us try to pry this up a little bit. This little metal housing here. Pull that away. And that will reveal the rest of that cable. Let's go ahead and pull that right out. Proximity sensor. A couple of rubber grommets in here, gaskets. So if you're going to be heating up the display or transferring, you might want to take out. So now we're going to remove the battery. Now, if you're actually working with a working display, you want to be pretty careful here. This battery actually sits right on top of the display. Now, right where I'm prying currently, there's the midframe, this uh, magnesium or plastic midframe, whatever it is, uh, that's in the battery. Now, right in the center of the battery, there is none of this midframe. So you're going to be prying directly against the LCD, or sorry, the AMOLED display, whatever you want to call it. Let's call it display. So you want to be very careful as you do that. Now, these batteries do react to heat. Now, a lot of people will give a hubbub about uh, how hot they can get. You can warm them up a little bit. They're not going to explode and damage. You do not want to puncture them. So I'm going to use a nylon spudger playing card to see if we can get this thing loosened up a little bit here. Uh, they use a pretty good adhesive on it to try to get it uh, to stick down. So we can start to see they've got that spudger underneath it starting to pop up. So I'm not going more than just the hook side in. So more than about maybe a quarter of an inch. Put our playing card in. So we can't get it down the opposite side here as well. I'm going to work it down. So don't put it in more than just about a quarter of an inch. Not a whole lot of room here. So we'll just take our spudger. We're going to try to push it down the side here and get this one side off. So we're straight back. Go ahead and pull it away. So now I'm going to pry right here at the bottom portion. There's a lip here that'll help you pull it up. Still not prying directly into the screen. And we're going to push our spudger all the way through, all the way to the opposite side. We're not stopping in the middle. We're making sure it touches the frame on the opposite side. So you can see right here in the middle, this black portion, this rectangle piece, that is the actual display right here. So make sure that you don't uh, pry against that as you can damage your screen. There's all the components out. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and throw them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them for you. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I hope to see you watching the next video. Here's the charge port home button so you can see how it's set up. Replace that cable. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.